All right. So now, mix. Now we got mix. All right. So mix more for, for us is basically for the only difference between mix and mod is that if we get mesh, that apex defender is going to be a lot more heavy in the run game. All right. So all your RPO stuff that you're getting and whatnot, if we're facing a big RPO team, we're going to go with mix, if that makes sense. Right. But on drop back pass, drop back pass. Mix turns into mod for that apex defender. He's rerouting, he has first to the flat. Any token fake, he knows he could be aggressive in the run game, and the safety now is going to come out the roof in RPO, all the RPO stuff. That's the difference between mix and mod. Bottom line, you'll see a couple examples over here. So now he does have the B gap. We're playing mix up top. He has the B gap, right? So now we're not stunting the front. He steps up in the B gap, he's free. You'll see it better from the end zone view, right? So he's going to be a lot heavier in the run game knowing that the safety has to come out of the roof if it is any RPO stuff, all right? You'll see here again, up top, he's disguising it pre-snap, but now he still has that B gap, all right? He's a lot more aggressive in it. Obviously, he's unblocked, and we know the safety will come out of the top. Just showing you guys a couple examples of it, all right? So same thing up top with this piece here. You'll see it from the end zone copy. All right, so now, boom. And when we talk about the B gap, too, especially with DBs coming, anybody outside the box, whether it's a DB or whether it's an apex defender as far as a wheel back or whatever, we want to play the outside half of the B gap. All right, so we want to play everything outside in in that B gap. Okay. So now you'll see it here, all right, with the mix. All right, and obviously, too, with mix, you kind of see he's loosened up his alignment now. He's truly in the apex now because he's going to be more aggressive in the run game, all right, in the box. So now he gets a token fake. He pulls his trigger. He's going to play outside half of the quarterback. If the quarterback was to pull it, but now that safety knows he has to come out of the roof and take the bubble, where in mod he would not. He would not, all right? So you take the conflict off of the apex defender, right? And now, RPO stuff, you know, we, that's how we account for the RPO stuff, one of the ways we account for the RPO stuff, okay? All right? So now, same thing. Mix turns into mod on drop back pass. What do we call drop back pass, all right? Basically, no mesh, drop back pass. So now, same thing. He reroutes with his hands, has his eyes on the release of one, all right, one's inside the corner, early in the down, right? So now he goes to the upfield shoulder, knowing he has to take it back, okay? Now, we're playing mix down here now. So he knows, mix or mod, if three's away, right? If three's away, obviously that hook defender is relating to him. So hook defender is going to be drained, as we call it. He's going to be gone. So that apex defender has to know, with three away, he has to take two back. Does that make sense? All right. Okay. Man free? No, no. This split field coverage to us. 